are you, Angie? I'm so good. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. You look good in the rose colors. I love it. It's just a little casual, little fits. And actually, you, you know what? I got this uh, this sweatshirt. It was a part of a gift bag from for a viewing party that was for sacrifice. Really? Yeah, we're phenomenal. They, we did we did this whole like ladies night. We had a conversation and dinner, and there was a screening, and then we got these little ambitious um, sweatshirts. And... I, I love it. I didn't know about that. You didn't even know we were. Out I didn't even know. I want that sweatshirt. What's going on? <laughs> I'm gonna send you one. Okay. Congratulations on the new gig. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Pretty great. So, um, yeah. so, so the show is called Sacrifice. It's on BET Plus. Yeah. Uh, I've had the privilege of seeing it, but let's give everybody a little, a quick little one-two on it. How yeah. you got here? Why you, I, did you choose them? Did they choose you? How did you land here in this? Yeah, world? well, you know what? They started with the movie. So I read this script and it had, it just had this character I'd never played before. I'd never played a boss before, you know? She was just a ferocious, fierce, fearless woman. But on the flip side, she was also this scared little girl. She was working through her issues. You know, she when we meet her, she has an addiction to alcohol that she's she's fighting and winning when we meet her. And um, and she's starting to see the world with new eyes. And I just thought this is really interesting to meet to have a character who is this strong, but also in transition, trying to find herself and ask herself the questions. Am I willing to sacrifice my soul to continue doing this job? The soul. You can't sacrifice your soul, mama. Well, I mean, no, <laughs> you, you shouldn't. <laughs> it's best you don't, but sometimes people do. That was one of the conversations we had at the night when we were celebrating the show. It was like, we had a bunch of women there. We were talking about sacrifice and, and all the sacrifices that we all have to mm -hmm. make uh, yeah. in our careers and our whatever chasing our, whatever the thing is that you're chasing. Like, what is the thing? I can't imagine for you, uh, being on this grind for so long and in this business, what, what types of sacrifices you've had to make? I mean, I think the greatest sacrifice you do have to make as a woman, as a mother, of course, is, is at that time, you know? I mean, I love what I do. I love being a mother too. But when you miss out on certain things, that's always the hardest bit. Do you know I mean? I had something recently. I, got, I worked in Egypt and it took me away but my son got to come for most of it well not most of it, i should say half of it because we split the time and and he's studying ancient egyptian history at school so he got to go and see it for the first time but it also the sacrifice was that he had swim meets and i missed a couple oh. and I, I had to watch it on video and that's a sacrifice but it was it was the yin and yang you know what i mean it just wait a minute how old is he and when did they start? he's, he's 11. 11 already is that yeah. I'm in my mind. He's like a little baby still. That's crazy. I'm in my mind sometimes too. <laughs> yeah, what's he showing signs of? Because you know he got talented parents, man. Oh my gosh, it's he's hilarious. Still... He wants to be a singer and a director, so uh, he gets into things. Like so, one summer, it was a summer, not this past one, but the other one. It was about learning about all the best songs ever and all the best artists of all genres. So he just digs in deep. And then he went into directing and it was all the best movies and directors. And he got on this whole Hitchcock vibe. And then he was like, mom, I really want to watch The Shining. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, but it's Stanley Kubrick and he's one of the best. And I was like, that's where we draw the line. <laughs> that's where the education stops. You'll have to wait for that one. Wow, but that he has that type of passion at that age is kind of crazy and exciting to see. It, sure. it's, it's really wild. He teaches me new things all the time. Oh, that is yeah. so sweet. All right, so the show is so the show is a spicy little show. It is on BET Plus. Um, you have some very sexy scenes. Yes, but you've done sexy scenes before. It's not. A, <laughs> that's not a new thing for you. But I just had this conversation because I had Lala on the other day, and she was talking about how she coached uh, Cash Doll on one of the you know the BMF the Fifty Cent show. She had to like coach her on some of the tricks of doing like oh. a sexy. And really? okay uh-huh and she was helping her telling her that so the key things are like your posture like you want to worry about posture and how you look and your angles so you're not like shooting and you're all into the moment and you got like a big double chin the whole time she was telling me really? oh you're not you're not these are not things you think about when you do these type of scenes no that's probably I why i sometimes look crazy but <laughs> that's okay <laughs> i never think about those things actually i should I should. 
You're gonna have Lala call you. She's gonna tell She's you. Never call me because I'm that. I'm always the girl in the picture going like, you know, everybody else is like giving you the fierce looks, and I look crazy. <laughs> have a method of uh, of what you turn on what you turn off are there rules and regulations when you're doing those type of scenes no I mean I guess for me everything is feel you know I I it doesn't feel real does it feel authentic and in that moment you want it to just feel genuine and I think if you're holding back and you're saying this isn't how far I want to go or I just think that for me, I guess I get lost in the moment, to be honest with you. Really? Yeah, I do. Because I, I don't know any other way to do it. You know, sometimes people ask me, they're like, well, how are you going to do this scene? And I'm like, I've prepared. I've, I've, you know, learned my lines and thought about where my character is going to go. But at the end of the day, I really don't know. I don't know until I get in it. Because you kind of, you want to lose yourself, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's always fascinating to me because some people are like, they do it and it's no problem. Some people like, they hate them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I've been lucky so far that I've had good co-stars. <laughs> so I haven't had to hate it. <laughs> right, that makes it more enjoyable. More yeah, pleasant. it's true. I was like, I was actually looking at, before we hopped on, I was look, looking at your, uh, you know, on the Google page, they have all the images of all the movies that you've been in. And boy, it's a good list. Like you, you can scroll, this is, it's a scrollable list, Paula. Where so, did that happen? I have, I have, how many years did this take? I mean, perfect match about last night, of course, Sacrifices Here, Idlewild, Just Right, which is such a good movie. My, my kid, he plays basketball, so that movie, I don't know why he really, he just really liked that movie. It was on all the time in my house. It's one of my son's favorites, actually. Oh. Oh, the ones he can watch, you know? <laughs> so, he's only allowed to watch certain yeah, ones. can't watch all of them, no. Yeah. Got it. Uh, it's a good one, though. And you probably spent a lot of time, so you spent a lot of time with uh, Latifa and Tommy. I did. I did. We had so much fun together. They're just both two of the kindest people you're ever going to meet, you know? That's the people you want to hang out with, for sure forever right does that, yeah. does that does that ever linger like sometimes when you're doing a movie or you're doing a show and you you get to work with people do those relationships some, carry? Of them, some of them don't sometimes you have these fast intense friendships and then life takes you on other journeys and it doesn't mean you don't when you see each other you still feel the exact same but sometimes it's hard to keep it going but latifa and i definitely have over the years you know she even gave me my baby shower for my son and yeah 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 for sure <laughs> She's a good time too. She likes to have a good time. She probably threw you a hell of a shower. It was a sweet shower. It was we were. It was. It was a good. It was sweet. It was sweet. Yeah. It wasn't a turn up. It wasn't a turn up. It wasn't shower. a turn up, Angie. No. <laughs> this is interesting. So the first it said. And tell me this is right because it didn't sound right to me, but I guess it is. Is yeah. that Hitch was the first uh, motion picture, big picture that you were you were in ever? Yeah. That's true. No, it was. I had, you know, when I was much younger, I had done this really small um, talk show. I mean, not talk show, like a, like a little morning show. And then that, wait, hold on. Who's talking over there? I love y'all, but <laughs> sorry. If you were chatting in the house, I was like, hold on a second. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Peach was my very first movie ever. What'd you say? This house is beautiful. Are you home? Is this I am home, but it echoes. So like, you can't have anybody... I had to do something earlier, so I had some hair and makeup, which is why you have the lashes. And they're over there. Hi, guys. I just say hi. They're talking all loud. <laughs> and now they're telling you how much they love you. That's what everybody they're saying. <laughs> that is so cute. So yeah, so that's not a bad gig, Paula. That 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 hitch is your first and yeah, that was an amazing. I was very grateful for that. It was a really lucky first gig for that question. Did you manage to maintain a relationship with Will after that? I did. He's always been a good friend to me. Always. We love Will. Yes, he is so sweet. We love Will. All right. So what do people need to know about this show? So let's get them on board. Let's get them excited. Exactly. Sacrifice BET Plus. Well, first of all, it's super entertaining because it's suspense, it's mystery. You're trying to figure out why my parents died. And it, and and my own clients and my my work life and my personal life all start to sort of merge and create this tapestry. So, but then there's also for me, it's also this personal journey of this woman and what she's going through that I think is very heartfelt. And after everybody we've been through, what we have in COVID, it she asks the question of looking deeper inside yourself, you know, like and 
And what does she need to do now to be able to look in the mirror and, and going back into her past to figure out why she is the way that she is. Yeah. And then, and so it's only on, I'm not sure if I just got to see in advance. This first episode is out now, right? Yeah, you can binge it. You can, the oh, whole series, the whole series, the whole series all 10 are there. Oh, Actually, now we have 11. So like the movie is number one, right? which is great because the movie was always an intro into, it left you with a major cliffhanger because we had always had the hopes that it would be a, sh a show. And so that's episode one. And then we have 10 more after that. They're brand new for people. Oh, I love a binge watch. I didn't realize that they were all there. Okay, good. So it's a binge watch. What are you, aside from your own show, what are you binge watching? What's, are you a binge watcher? Because I, 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 I do, I do, I do binge watch. I do. You know, it's funny. My, my son and I just um, rediscovered Blackish, and we have watched just seasons on that. Do you know what I mean? Just, and I'm on the plane with him, and just I laugh out loud. He's like, "Mom, you're so loud." It's so good, and you know it's so ending. Good. It's <laughs> ending. They're getting ready to end. That's gonna be so sad. Oh, that's, I know. So, you got went through those. They like body that. That's a great. That's a great show. I just binge watched. Um, the morning show. Have you seen that on oh, Apple? That's a good one. I've seen only the first season. I need to see the second the new one. Oh, good. oh my God. So good. Even if I just binge watched the second season and then I watched BMF on stars as 50 show. Okay. BMF. And I heard that's great. It's that it's really good. It's yeah. uh it's like seven episodes in. You're not too late. Okay. We catch up on seven, <laughs> seven okay. episodes. Okay. But I enjoy a binge watch, so that's great that they're you all you find yourself and it's just embarrassing. You can't help. I'm like, click. Let me do it again. Next up, next up. Yep. You don't ever want to wait. If you're into something, you want to see the next part. I know, and now these new ones are making you wait. I get it. And when, you know, these, some of these networks are making you wait now. Nobody, have, service. nobody has this type of time, guys. <laughs> um, I love a good binge. <laughs> what is your hope for the sh what is your hope for the show in the world like do you have like expectations for it it's going to be around or it's going to oh. impact people this way or you know what I, i'm not one to do that too much you know at the end of the day of course you want people to enjoy it you hope that it moves people whatever journey it's supposed to be on is what it's supposed to be on that's like what the universe god has intended i just try to not i find that when i go on that I want it to be like this, it has to be like that, that I suffer, you know, instead of just going, whatever's meant to be is meant to be. That is my own personal way of looking at life lately. That's helped me tremendously. Are you like one project at a time, girl, or are, you, are there other things we should be looking at right now? Well, I just finished this thing in Egypt that I'm really excited about. And um, not, not one project at a time. I think that you try to, you know, like I'm, I'm in development on some ideas, a couple books that I have and you see where everything's gonna land. Yeah. What were you doing in Egypt? I, well, I did this TV show um, in Egypt. It was a British Egyptian co-production um, and it's this six episode series. Um, and I play this woman who's a wife of an archeologist. She's a professor in Egypt and it's all this suspense and intrigue and I'm in front of pyramids and I'm driving my Jeep through the streets of Cairo. And I was like, I'm on board, I, I wanna do this. And I mean that sounds like a good time. Time. I've never been there before. So I got to see the pyramids and just all kinds of things. We did this, my family and I, we sailed from Luxor to Aswan and saw all these wonders, you know, they're 4,000 years old. It's just, it's, it's mind blowing. So even if the script hadn't been good, I think I would have done it. <laughs> I was like, uh. it's a free trip of a lifetime. I'm going. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and when do we see that? Do we, is that coming? That, I don't know. That we, I just finished it and they're still doing a little bit more work. So I don't know when that will be. All right. Well, we got our hands full now already. We got to, we can binge watch Sacrifice on BET Plus. Uh, before, I, before I let you go too, there's something uh, happening on Saturday. And we're, we're doing some clips for this. It is World Kindness Day. Oh. Saturday. Can you remember the last, uh, what was the last gesture, kind gesture someone has done for you? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. I feel like people do kind gestures all the time. Um, um, the one that sticks out in my mind was letting me go on the plane with a, with a luggage. This, this, <laughs> I was actually in Egypt and my bag was way overweight for the, you know, to bring on the cabin. And this person was super like, okay, just take it, take it on, you know? So that was sweet. And I was scared because I had no options because I really meant to just do carry on. And so that person was quite kind. <laughs> no, that's all silly. 
But like, no, but you know, sometimes somebody can do the smallest thing and it's how it affects you. In that moment, you like appreciated that. I was, I was like, thank you. You, <laughs> you don't know what I was going to do. So yeah. I'm sure you've done things to people that they don't even know. No, that you, in, that, in that way. So uh, on this day, then do you have to do something kind then, of course? You should. It's on Saturday. Well, and then well, celebrate the things that kind things that people have done for you. Yeah, or or encourage or do something for somebody with no expectation. I mean, I don't know. I've had people say things they'll do so, you know, they'll put somebody's money in somebody's meter just because oh, yes. Just something with the trash is not your trash. You know, my grandpa was good for that. He would just pick up trash all the time in the street. I love that about him. <laughs> I, mean, I, I started to do that. I was like, you know what? Why are you just walking over that wrapper, Polly? You can pick that wrapper up. It's not yours, but throw it away. <laughs> it's good for the world. It is. We'll all do something kind on Saturday. Yes. I'm going to get you an ambitious uh, sweatshirt. Thank you, everyone. Uh, that'll be my thing for you on Saturday. <laughs> That's what I'll say. I love it. That's a great one. Yes. <laughs> Everybody can binge watch Sacrifice on BET Plus. Uh, and congratulations, honey. It was so good to see you. So good to see you too. Thank you. Hopefully next time we'll be in person and we can keep it. Yeah. That would be really nice. Yes. Yeah, I would love that. All right, mama. Stay safe. Congrats again. I appreciate you. Follow Pat and everybody.